snow tires put on my car yesterday, and I guess I'm prepared. For the first time in 20 years, 81-year-old Montrealer Sydney Margulies is in the market for these winter boots and a jacket. Margulies has been a snowbird, escaping our harsh Canadian winters for the Sunshine State south of the border, but COVID-19 has changed his plans to head to Florida. We feel better uh, here at home where we know exactly what we're doing, where we're doing it. Margulies would typically be packing up for a four-month stay at his condo in Deerfield Beach, Florida, but like hundreds of thousands of others from La Belle Province, that won't be the case. A fair number of people who are figuring as I am, um, go a little later and uh, fly and rent a car down there, especially those of us who own property there. Nearly 250,000 Quebecers head south yearly, mainly to Florida. But as the state surpassed 800,000 COVID cases, many putting plans on hold. For Quebecers who own businesses there, like Richard Clavette, who's had this hotel for over 30 years in the Hollywood area, it's going to be even tougher. What is like a, a concern right now, an important concern, is what's going to happen this winter. I know it's going to keep on being cold up north. The border is open in the U.S. side for people that want to come by plane, but there's no quarantine here. When you come to Florida, you just do whatever you want to do. You wear your mask, respect your distance, and I don't know, we're going to have a good season. It's not going to be as good as it used to because I think people are nervous. A recent CAA poll found 92% of snowbirds are concerned over the U.S. management of the pandemic, but one Montrealer, Leonard Miller, says he's going anyway. We will do the exact same thing as we do here. We will go for walks, but there we'll be able to walk in shorts rather than uh, a coat and mittens and uh, a hat. If you feel that you could uh, be safe and not change what your style of life is here to what your style of life is in the States or Florida, I see no reason why not to go. The onus is on uh, travelers that want to go away to be well insured. You definitely need to read the fine print. Some insurance policies cover you for only 200000 Honestly, in the United States, that won't cover very much. Certainly not to be uh, in intensive care on, uh, on a respirator or anything. So I'd rather lose out on one particular winter and hope to have many more good winters later on. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.